I'm not going to say this is a miracle or, you know, it's going to change everything in your life. But for me, it's been amazing. Signal Relief is really giving me part of my life back. My name is Matt Silva. I am a below the knee amputee. Uh, I've been an amputee for about 16 years now, going on 17. So when I was 25 years old, I was working as a tree arborist in between semesters at BYU-Idaho. And um, I was in charge of a tree stump grinding crew. So the tree stump grinder is a machine that has teeth on it that stick out and it spins a million miles an hour and you just lower it down on top of that stump and you can just slowly like mulch it away. Usually it takes several hours to, you know, take out a tree stump. Anyway, it wasn't working right that day um, and the wind was blowing really hard um, and I took a step forward to see what was the matter with the grinder and um, the bottom of my pants had these uh, jogging strings that you you know you, you can pull tight and tighten up on around the ankle and they were super awkwardly long um, anyway the wind whipped that one of those strings in and it just jerked my leg in and uh, that was that I remember um, it happening it happened you know just split second um, and I'm on the ground and I'm looking down and I can see my leg and it's just you know, filleted wide open, you know, I can see bones sticking out. Um, and at that second, um, I asked the guy <laughs> to turn off this tree stump grinder that was running it. And so he ran, he, you know, backed it off. And, and then I said, hey, call an ambulance. And then the pain really started to sit in. When I wake up, I still have my leg. I still have my feet, my toes. I can still wiggle all my toes, um, you know, but it hurts really bad. And so the doctor comes in and he goes, so it's not looking good. You know, we're probably gonna have to amputate. So after I amputated, the way I understand it is my brain sends the signal down and then that signal doesn't come back up. And because it doesn't come back up, my brain thinks that there's an injury down there. I was determined that I would still do the things I wanted to, but honestly, it was tough to go out and ride my dirt bike, you know, for any kind of period of time. It was just debilitating. So my kids play for my twins. They play football and they love football. They love sports just like me. And I saw a kid whose last name was Hammond. And I walked up to him and I go, hey, who's your dad? And he said, his name's Mike Hammond. And I go, oh my gosh, that was my best friend growing up. He's like, uh, like, where is he? He's like, oh, he couldn't be here today. And so I just kind of like, oh man, we'll tell your dad hi. And uh, I hit Mike up on Facebook and I was like, hey Mike, uh, my kid and your kid are playing today. Let's, you know, let's, let's meet up after. He invites me over to his house and um, we get to talking and he asked me, how's my leg? And I said, well, it hasn't grown back yet. But, and then he goes, well, how's your pain? And I said, well, the pain's, you know, I still,